which is uh, uh, data from the European session. Okay, well, um, first thing we'll, we'll do is, is look at something that, uh, that happened in Asia this morning, but uh, China devalued the yuan by 1.9% versus the US dollar. That's the largest devaluation uh, in modern times by the People's Bank of China. Um, some have seen it as a move um, to try and shore up a failing economy. Others are trying to put a more positive spin on it, saying that it's a, that it's a move towards the, getting the, the, the yuan into some kind of uh, shape to be floated and then perhaps uh, raised A normal up, currency. Raised it to a normal currency but for the Chinese to become a, a, a reserve currency with a view ultimately, I guess, to taking over from the dollar. Anyway, remains to be seen why, why they've done that. I, I'll keep my cynics hat on and suggest it's more about the economy than it is about trying to... Um, uh, to join the big league. Yeah, although you know those two things could go hand in hand. So that was the the first uh, news. And Has the market taken that? In general, people have taken that bad, not well. Let's say. No, no, they haven't. They've they've uh, they've erred on the side of caution. They've assumed that it's because you know the the, the powers that be in China can see the economy failing, um, or at least failing to grow, and maybe not even maintaining this sort of six and a half percent. You know, growth benchmark that we I think we all realistically think is the reality at the moment, um, and maybe trying to head off um, further issues with liquidity and uh, credit squeezes elsewhere. Um, so no negative for now, but but you know, but as people look through it, maybe they'll change their opinions on that. I'm yeah. not going to, however. Um, and then um, in terms of other news, uh, the Greeks and creditors are said to have agreed terms for a third bailout of somewhere of the region of 86 billion euros. No details as yet. And oddly enough, the, the news broke in a tweet from one of the Greek uh, politicians. It seems a strange way to, <laughs> to announce uh, um, you know, th that kind of momentous news. It really gives the impression of a, a sticking plaster type of uh, event. Yeah, absolutely. You, you know my thoughts here. You know, borrowing more money isn't likely to... Uh, and the other point, actually, which is amazing, is the way that really the China news overshadowed the Greek news. Yes, because I think, I think you know, the, probably the market's of the opinion that there will, a deal will be done over Greece uh, in the not-too-distant future, but it will just, as you say, be a sticking plaster over a, a major wound, and it just kicks the can down the road. Um, to the, to the next time they're in trouble, which could be any, anywhere between a year and 18 months, I guess. Speaking of trouble, uh, the ZEW uh, survey? Well, yeah, um, uh, slightly baffled by the differential between the two, but uh, the, uh, uh, the figures are for August. It's the, first of all, economic, economic sentiment um, and a sharp uh, drop to 25, well below uh, the forecast of 32, and uh, the prior read of 29.7. So uh, those in German in the German uh, markets are not feeling very happy uh, about the current state of... Uh, it's a melt, I mean, that's basically a meltdown, isn't well, it? Well, it is. It just makes me wonder why yeah. the current situation number is actually coming ahead at 65.7. There seems to be a disconnect there against the forecast of 64.3. But, uh, but yeah, the, it is. It's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real concern about what's going to happen in the second half of the year or, you know, or the, the last portion of this quarter and the next quarter on. Um, OK, and then in Italy... Uh, normalised CPI for July, uh, the month-on-month -month number, um, and another perplexing read down two uh, percent. So deflation um, is alive and well in Italy, and that surely should be a concern to the ECB. Uh, the forecast was was to be fair for minus 1.9, so it's not a wild deviation from that. And the prior number was minus two percent as well. Um, I know the ECB. ECB prefers to look at different measures of, in, of uh, inflation, but uh, to me, that's uh, not surprising. Why? Looking well, at that exactly. Number. Just you know, just strike it. If you don't like one, one, one number, we'll get we'll create our own. Uh, but that rings alarm bells for me, and uh, I think they, you know, they must be concerned that uh, QE isn't having the the effect that they wanted it to. Okay.